This is BCTV, Brantford Community Television. We're all about Brantford. This is BCTV, Brantford Government Television, a service of Brantford Community Television. The following program is brought to you through the support of the town of Brantford. Okay, we'll call the May 2nd, 2018 Board of Selectmen meeting to order. Item one, to approve the Board of Selectmen minutes of April 4th, 2018, as corrected by the clerk, and April 10th, 2018 special meeting. Recommend approval. Second. Discussion, any corrections, edits, hearing not all in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, item two, get a motion to go into an executive session to discuss pending tax appeals. We'll ask Attorney Perito to come in with this. Recommend approval. Second that? Second, Second. Sure. Sorry. All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, can I get a motion to go back into regular session? So Recommend. Oh, second. All, right. uh, all in favor say aye. 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 We are back in regular session. For the record, no votes were taken while in executive session. Can I get a motion to approve the proposed uh, t tax settlement with EvoTech as presented by Attorney Perito? Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 A motion to approve the proposed tax settlement for 117 Sunset Beach Road and 121 Sunset Beach Road. Recommend approval. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. How you doing? Item three, to consider and if appropriate approval request from Otto Berger, lead tradesman, to waive, <coughs> to waive bid for the purchase uh, and installation of two acorn toilet lav combo units for the police department in the amount of $12,687 and award the contract to Macri Associates Incorporated. Otto. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, this is a, uh, attached a proposal to replace two of these uh, fixtures at the police department cell blocks uh, in, in the lower level <coughs> in the basement. Uh, those are currently leaking and they have uh, controls that are mounted behind the wall and we're looking to bring a contractor in to do the work for us uh, and that will uh, give us the guidance to uh, do what we are trying to do in the upcoming year uh, budget as well. This kind of goes along with it. Um, they need to be replaced. The, the equipment is expensive, it's stainless steel. The controls behind the walls are also expensive, and they're all plastic has to be attached properly. And be, you know, plumbing, everything is included for a complete installation. They will keep the cells open. Uh, no, they will have to close. So there'll be all kinds of work done at the same time. Oh, right. They will paint at the same time. And I think we're supposed to do some painting in there, and um, they have to put some. Um, metal on top so that uh, you know no one can get their hands through and rip ceiling tiles out it's it kind of goes along with that as well but more important for us is that you know we need to fix those because the constantly drain drain out we get the sewer gas smell through so we we have to constantly refill them and um, we brought acorn down to take a look at it and we ask them to recommend us a contractor that actually does this work. Right. Which I see this is a state certified DAS contractor. Um, and this is, uh, okay, furnish and install. Okay. And this is part of, uh, these are two out of, there's a number of units that will eventually have to be replaced. However, you did uh, request money in the upcoming uh, budget 
for the additional ones. However, there is funding um, in his, your current year budget for these two. two units. Yeah, this, this will come out of the R and M account. account, which you have you have funds available. Yes. All right. Make a motion. We approve. Second that motion. All right. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. All right. Thanks, Adam. And four, reappointment, South Central Connecticut Regional Water District Representative Policy Board, uh, Mario Ricosi, term to expire June 30th, 2021. Make a motion we approve. Second. Discussion? Hearing all in favor say aye. 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 Appointments, Green Committee, Don Gentile, as the representative for the Academy on the Green, term to expire May 31st, 2021. And Laura No, as a member at large, term to expire May 31st, 2020. Take those together, unless somebody has an issue. No, I take it that the academy, that's who they want. Uh, they, they yes, yeah, there were some um, yeah, some people moving around and yeah. Yeah, currently. Yes. Yes. I'll make a motion we approve. Yeah. Recommend, second. All right, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Fire Department Volunteer Pension Committee, Hal Berringham and Tim Murray. Make a motion we approve. Second. Discussion, hearing on all in favor say aye. 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 M6, correspondence, I don't believe we have any. Uh, item seven, any other business? Mr. Getch. My name is Ben Getch. Um, you see me before. Uh, I'm um, here again to bring attention to an issue that I, I feel is ongoing in the town of Brantford within its jurisdictional waters. Um, what I have here is a uh, is an email essentially that I've um, uh, reformatted into a, a letter to the to the selectman here. Um, this letter I wrote to uh, Selectman Cosgrove and Mike Cretella originally. It outlines um, some of my concerns and, and some things that I think that are in the best interest of the town for the Board of Selectmen to uh, act on. Basically, I won't, I won't read the whole letter for you. Um, I'll try to be as quick as possible, not uh, take too much time in this already short meeting. Um, but the basic premise is that the state has purchased in Fee Simple uh, 930 acres of, of private shellfish franchise ground within the jurisdictional waters of Brantford. Uh, the jurisdictional waters of Brantford are defined by, uh, on the map that I provided for you there, um, that line that runs um, pretty much just south of the Thimble Islands, it intersects uh, between Horse and Outer. That is the jurisdictional state town line that has been um, in effect since 1881. Um, before that, uh, all the waters within the meridian bounds of the town, all the way to the state line in New York, were within the jurisdiction and control of the town of Brantford. In 1881, they decided that the state uh, should take control of further offshore waters. It made more sense because the state had the, the resources, the ability to map, survey, and designate uh, shellfish grounds there. The nearshore grounds, north of the line, were considered to be remain in the, in the town's jurisdiction because it's within the town's control, obviously. It, it's close enough to town interests uh, that it made sense. Now, uh, the purchase of these grounds has uh, created a situation where the town of Brantford has lost uh, tax revenue. These were taxable um, assets, uh, basically taxed as real estate, um, according to uh, the law 26-250 and the Connecticut General Statutes. Um, now, the state is, of course, exempt from paying tax to the town of Brantford, um, but that doesn't mean that they owe Brantford perhaps some money. Um, this would be a payment in lieu of taxes. Uh, this is now state-owned property in fee simple, as the warranty deed that I've attached uh, indicates. Uh, that is unusual, I'll note, for a shellfish lease transaction. Those are usually done via quick claim deed because you do not own uh, the shellfish ground in fee simple. Uh, you literally have a, just a limited easement uh, in that public trust land to just the shellfish. That's all that was ever conveyed. Uh, 
Now the state bought though that right and now has the right to the shellfish in Brantford's uh, jurisdictional waters. Um, the state uh, in their farmland preservation program um, got money to buy these from Edward Lang for $800,000. That, uh, I believe, um, qualifies this as state-owned land and it, the state owes the town of Brantford 45% of the assessed value of that land. Uh, I've included the property card there that shows the current assessment of the land. I believe it's uh, just over a million dollars. Now it makes sense for the state to pay um, a payment in lieu of taxes because this program that the state is basing um, th this purchase on, they're bringing in all these new operators and there's about eight or nine of them now. And these are uh, shellfish companies that are coming into Brantford's nearshore waters, setting up shop, um, getting permits. And uh, this is of course going to put more um, wear and tear in use on um, probably the, the near, nearest harbor, uh, Stony Creek. So you're gonna be having all these new commercial entities now, essentially uh, subsidized by the state in some way, um, using Brantford's um, newly improved uh, resources down there in Stony Creek. Uh, with no compensation to the town. If this was a town, if this was owned by Ed Lang previously, he, he would still be paying taxes. So it would make sense that he could use those, the town dock and things like that, like other commercial boats do, because he'd be paying taxes to the town. Um, there's a further uh, implication to this as well, and that is on the map that I included on the, the back. It's this color map here. This is the state's current map of Brantford's town waters, which I produced using uh, the, the state uh, aquaculture mapping atlas. This is put together with Yukon and, and various other agencies, but, but it shows um, how the state interprets now uh, their ownership in Brantford's town waters. As you can see, um, the brown lines north of the, state of the jurisdiction line are town managed. I think the legend kind of came out a little light there, but, but the brown lines are, are town managed grounds. And now the pink lines are state managed shellfish beds. And you can see south of the line, pink boxes. And that makes sense. But now there's all this pink within Brantford's jurisdictional waters. Now this has a practical implication because a new shellfish company um, that may move in and work under the state's new program will um, make an application to um, DEEP, Office of Boating Safety, Long Island Sound Program, as well as the Army Corps of Engineers, and they will have an application that will say, is this project in town or state waters? Now, the applicant would look at this and say, oh, I'm in, in the pink area, state waters. That has a practical implication on the residents of Brantford because uh, the certain notice requirements, pre-consultation requirements um, can be avoided uh, with the town if you are in state waters because State waters are far away from the town normally. In this case, they're not. They're very close to shore. And there are a number of permits that have already been issued and, and permits pending as well um, that are all kind of clustered in the area between Holy Neck and, and Bear Island in that vicinity there. Um, some of these permits were granted with, with no notice to um, local landowners. Um, you know, the people who, who use the area to get to and from their island aren't being consulted as to what the normal uh, path of traffic is. And the only person making any determination on the uh, proper location of some of these gear sites, which number in, you know, sometimes hundreds of cages and buoys, each one has an individual buoy, um, and also kelp long lines that are in the midwater. The only person making a determination on this is uh, Office of Boating Safety. And I believe they do not know our waters uh, well enough to make certain determinations. Uh, the very fact that the application process requires consultation with the town authorities, um, if it's in town waters, is because those town authorities have that special knowledge. Um, and I would also indicate here that the Thimble Islands and Stony Creek is, is unique along the shoreline, uh, for, perhaps from any community, and requires local knowledge to, to understand how uh, traffic patterns work there, how boating happens, um, where uh, certain recre recreational activities occur, and uh, things of that nature. So um, that's really all I have for you tonight. Um, 
I, you can see in the beginning of my letter, I, 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 thank, um, I thank you for agreeing to set up a meeting with David Carey, director of the Bureau of Aquaculture, to discuss these things. Um, what I meant, uh, I really addressed that to, to Jamie, because uh, Jamie has indicated to me he has agreed that he would like to set up such a meeting. Um, I'm simply here to reiterate my concerns and, and say why a meeting is necessary. I think there needs to be a memorandum of understanding between the town of Brantford and uh, the Department of Agriculture slash Bureau of Aquaculture. Um, so we have a predictable um, process through which the town can be consulted as the state continues to exercise uh, the private rights that they bought. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks, Matt. And uh, I know you, you, you've been working with Attorney Cretella from our uh, firm that represents the town. Yes. Uh, I did uh, follow up as well as with the, our town attorney, uh, Anaskovich, as far as coordinating that meeting. Mm. To discuss this, and as you know, uh, even since this, there's been some other uh, concerns that have come up just recently regarding um, the approvals for some activities that happened. So yes, we do want to look into it. Yes, there's right. a pending permit in Jarvis Creek. Uh, right. the recent and Army Notice Corps came out. Um, that project isn't uh, the applicant in that project is also part of this state program, and I believe that um, a certain uh, pre-consultation. Uh, was also um, avoided during the early phase of that project um, in a way that was perhaps not uh, not according to uh, prescribed policy and procedure. Um, but uh, obviously that per that application has many other complications as well. Right. And, uh, you know, which you're aware the town has uh, uh, expressed some, some uh, things that concerned uh, mm. with that uh, and we have forwarded those on to the Army Corps so that's a oh good yes. reason. Corey Rose is, a, is, is great she's yeah, very responsive so. yeah um, you know we continue to move forward on this or try to coordinate some type of meeting and yes you know, but that I, right. I'd appreciate that and I and let me know if I can be of help in any way I'm, I'm here to help sir thank you all right thank you thanks All right. Any other business? If not, a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. All right. All in favor say aye. 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 The preceding program was brought to you through the support of the Town of Brantford. Watch town meetings or other videos on demand at BrantfordTV.org.